How's it going guys? Red Champ here. So this is probably my final variation on the sniper builds until we get some more boosts here. I've been running this one for quite a while now. And the name I've come up for it is the High Caliber Sniper. So right off the bat, this one is super good at shooting. Its speed and agility are a little bit lower, but what it makes up for in that is being able to absolutely pick corners and hammer home shots when you're wide open. Here is the build. Uh, it's 5'9", 160, so we get the extra point of agility. We use gold 1T, silver close quarters, and elite edges. Controlled deking is my personal preference for the boost. Booming slapper helps with 95. Everything past 90 is overkill in my opinion, but you really want to blow it past the human goalies and the computers, and you don't even want to give them a chance. When you hit 95, just trust me on it, it's pretty sick the shots you can get off. 75 strength lets us be able to put the boost in either our wrist shot or a slap shot power for a booming clapper uh, or heavy wrister. The 88 accuracy can actually be bumped all the way up to 92 if you swap out the trait and put on the accuracy trait as well as drop your wrist shot accuracy just a bit in case you never want to miss one timers. Of course you're probably not going to miss anyways because one timers is a bit of a broken ability. Um, I've found success with this build in sixes. It's dominated in threes when there's so much open ice out there. You can hit deep one timers from pretty much anywhere and get a hell of a good shot off. The defensive aspect of it, it's stick checking is 77. Uh, you're not strong body checking. Your defensive awareness is mediocre at best. You could split the stick checking down the middle and end up around 70 to 72 on everything. Uh, I do recommend that you find a spot that you're comfortable with. I know I recently have a dangler build here coming up that uh, has 74 defensive awareness and it's able to pick off a lot of passes. But the most important thing with picking off passes is that you're just in the right position. So here's a couple clips. Hopefully you guys can enjoy it. Uh, the goalies are in the way, and we're still beating it clean past them just based off the power and accuracy. As you can see here, you're able to turn on the jets, and if you're facing computer players, this build can simply skate right past them every time and get a easy goal. So if you don't want to run elite edges on this build, all alone is a great ability to take because you can simply just shoot the puck on the goalie and there's a very good chance you beat them just from the accuracy and shot power stacked with close quarters. Now the easiest way to gain max speed with this build because wheels isn't introduced into EASHL yet you can do the self pass and that'll let you abuse your 93 speed without penalty for carrying the puck and from there you're just able to dominate. I do think that this build is paired well with a bigger player who can hit or a playmaker slash two-way forward with high passing. Uh, if you happen to run tape to tape with this build, you can make some very pretty plays and you're going to have even cleaner one-timers when you're actually getting off the good passes through to you. I think if the average player picks up this build, and you're playing against a lower division, you can absolutely demolish them. We have single-handedly make teams quit purely by just shooting. That backhand one gets people in. Like, watch this one here. The goalie follows me the whole way through and still doesn't get the puck. Perks of being a sniper, having the good accuracy and the good shot. Now you might notice on some of these clips that I'm using close quarters instead of one-timer. Uh, it's pure preference. One-timer is the better option, but if you're not reliably getting passes when you're against human goalies, close quarters absolutely excels on this build. One thing with this build and a style of scoring that I don't see many people using is just keeping it on the forehand and shooting. A lot of people want to do the forehand, backhand, forehand every time you go on a breakaway. But with this build, if you're coming across, you can just skate straight past and flick it up. Like right here, I'm going to cut through. I'm going to cut across, put it on my forehand, and I'm just going to abuse close quarters and the high shot power and the shot accuracy. Makes for an easy goal, and it's one that you can get very frequently. The next thing is where you want to post up for one-timers, right? So... This build, you can score one-timers from anywhere. But if you're a left-handed shot, as long as you are in between probably 20% of the left side of the net and all the way over to the right, you can hit it. But if you watch where I take that one there, 
that is your most optimal spot to hit one timers right in that little circle you got a tiny little bit of space between the uh, edge of the circle there and the center dot and you're able to just stop and tee it up you want to aim for the far left corner and you'll be able to bomb it 99% of the time remember winning's fun so rinse and repeat as needed For the players who don't invest in any balance at all, this build can take them down. Like you see this guy along the boards here, little shove creates a huge opportunity for a breakaway and you're going to see a little stride deke and a rip up top. Easy goals, easy plays, right? Catch your opponent sleeping and be sure to flick the right stick at him and give him some shoves. A lot of people don't invest in balance so it's nice and easy just to shove them off the puck and then just turn and go. One of the cool things about this build is you can score anywhere with the shot power and accuracy. So if you want to hammer home a shot, a low blocker when the goalie's standing still, you can rip it through. You want to go short side, little toey, you fucking rip it right up top, easy claps. The next thing is you can score five hole. Not a lot of people score five hole this year and against human goalies, the way the goalies are laid out, a lot of people have low five hole stat. So if you're coming across the net, you can slam that down low. And you're going to see that in a later clip. There's a one earlier on that you can see the same thing and you come across and you just jam it five hole. Alright guys, thank you for watching. We are closing in on 500 subscribers. It's pretty cool. It's kind of surreal. I started this back in October and I think it's really cool the growth that we've had and a lot of the positive feedback I've gotten from the community. I'm always down to help out so I'm going to post my uh, discord down below here and if you guys need me or any questions just feel free to hit me up.